Um, obviously, this seeing this rhino in a video means it's gonna be a, a small ramble one, nothing really to show. Um, oh yeah, I'll actually probably show a few things in the next video, but uh, this is basically uh, just meant for a video response to uh, Wave Samhan or and or Fritz 40k, uh, his video on I need your help. Um, basically he's just asking for a nice strong, uh, 2,250 point list for, uh, goblins and for fantasy. So, uh, this is just a response to it and I'm just going to let him know what I think is unit wise. Uh, night goblins, I mean, if you're going to field those, you're going to have to have a lot more than he has. Um, uh, you're going to, night goblins are pretty much only strong in numbers. He has about, I think, 18, 19 goblin, night goblin set. You're going to need a lot more than that. Um, goblins in general, just a regular goblin. Uh, he's got, you got probably about, um, what would you say, like 40 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a nice solid number. And uh, I think you're, that'd be better to roll with goblins since you already have, like, tons of model, models for him. And, uh. They're pretty much all core units, and they're pretty stacked up, decent with uh, their weapons and like musicians and stuff like that. So uh, and standards and everything. So you be you'll be fine. I'd roll with the goblins in general because you have enough. Um, would not recommend night goblins just based on the models that you already have. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to visualize it. Uh, you have a rock lobber. Pretty much take a rock lobber because it's just great la range, and I think it's called the Doom Thrower. Uh, rock lobber and Doom Thrower are just great range and very powerful. It's great to have, um, so I definitely strongly recommend those. Fanatics, uh, definitely take fanatics. I mean, they are a pain to deal with. Um, fanatics are just great. It's like the equivalent lots for 40k would be probably. Uh, Terminator's deep striking right behind you, which sucks. And um, it's pretty much fanatics coming right behind you, and they're just holding massive wrecking balls and tear through you. So you have about three fanatics, so I think you're on the right track with those. I'd definitely actually take about six fanatics. Um, he Lords and heroes. Uh, I'd probably take one of those two-handed guys just for extra melee. And uh, definitely recommend a shaman just to have some magic and psychic, whatever you call it in fantasy, attack uh, attacks because uh, uh, it's just great to have. It gives you more flexibility in your army. Um, if you if you choose to roll with a sh or shaman in the end, which I would strongly recommend. Uh, if you choose to roll with goblins, just straight up goblins, then take the goblin shaman that you have. If you choose to roll with Night Goblins, uh, then I would take the Night Goblin Shaman that you have. Uh, Squig Herders, uh, yeah, they're a pretty good unit. Um, cause a lot of trouble, but it can backfire on yourself, so you gotta really know how to use those to conquer them, so I'd really get in a few test games using Squigs because they're a pain against yourself, but they do, do, dealt, they do a lot of damage against the enemy. So yeah, I guess I'd recommend Squig Herders if you have room, I'd, or Squigs, I'd, if you had room, I'd put them in there. Wolf Riders, don't know much about Wolf Riders, um, never re really seen them fielded. Um, all I know is about their, that a fa they're a faster unit, and uh, they, mm, they're uh, faster, and they are uh, pretty good, I've heard. They're just a better unit overall, I guess, that's what I've heard. I have a few friends at the game shop who play uh, night or goblins in general, so that's why I know so much about these a little bit. Um, and I was planning on starting one myself, so that's why I know a little bit. Uh, what else did you have? You had fanatics, goblins, night goblins, wolf riders, squig herders. Um, yeah, I think that's all you had. Pretty much. I'm trying to think. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's just what I was thinking. Uh, if you're going with an all-goblin army, that's cool. But uh, if you could, I'd probably recommend some black orcs. Just because they're such a powerful unit, you know. So, uh, if you're choosing to roll with an all-goblin army, that's cool. But if you 
are willing to throw a few orcs in there, then I definitely recommend black orcs or maybe just some orc warriors. Um, uh, that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. I I'll probably forget something, but whatever. That's about all I know. So, uh, see you later. Just had a quick glance at the whoa. I just had a quick glance at the video again, and I remember what I forgot. Uh, heavy wolf riders. Um. More like a shoved on your throat unit, shoved on the enemy's lines unit. Um, very strong unit, uh, obviously heavy, armored, and uh, very strong. So I'd recommend Heavy Wolf Riders, or uh, I think that's what they're called, because I've seen those used. This one uh, guy, or which one kid at my shop, or at the shop, he uses uh, Heavy Wolf Riders, and they're just, they just own, they, they're just pretty much like unstoppable. They're fast too, they're really fast. Um, Let's see what else is on the video. You got oh yeah, snotlings. Um, they're good. I yeah, they're you need. They're kind of like night goblins. You need tons of them to do something. I mean, I'd recommend if you're going to roll with those, recommend like six or seven. That's what I usually see if somebody rolls with snotlings. I'm just going off what I see and what I hear and what I've read. Um, and uh, looks like you have. Let's take a quick glance again. Um, I think that's all you had. Play your video real quick. Armor, uh, standard in the back, as competitive as goblins can be. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, Jeez, you got a crap load of Rolf Riders. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'd obviously take some Wolf Riders because you have so many, but, uh, really don't know what they do that much but uh yeah just roll with a few of those and everything so uh, that's it i uh, hope this helped all right uh and that's pretty much all i got see you guys later